Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to dive into a little bit of code and look at the concept of page separations. And there's a couple of different techniques that I'm going to show you. The concept of page separations, as you can see on the page here, is that I have content on my page. And this could be an announcement, a regular Canvas page, an assignment, a module overview. And I have content that I want to separate into these sections. So I have maybe a first section that could be something like the unit readings that are due another section for assignments, another section for optional videos or resources that I have for the students. However you want to separate the content, you can use these page separations right here. Here's another example of a heading that I have, and we're going to dive into the code. And also, you might be familiar with horizontal rules, the HR tag, the HTML tag for a straight line to separate content on the page. You can use HR, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually modify the HR2 using inline styling. So we're going to talk about various style options and various different horizontal lines that you can create on your Canvas page. So before I get into the behind the scenes for this page that I have, and you'll have access to this page as well on our Canvas course, let's look at the code specifically for this header right here, this page separator. So this is done with a div. And a div is an interesting concept. It's HTML, and a div is really a container for whatever you want to put into it. I think of a div as kind of like the opposite of water, where water is shapeless, it's formless, until you put it into a container, and then it takes the shape of that container. Where a div is a container that has no shape, it has no substance until you put something into it, and then it becomes a house for that thing. We're going to take a look at this code for the header right there. And I called that header headings, and it could be whatever you want. So first of all, we have a div, and I'm using some CSS to call a style, a class. So this class comes from Canvas, from the Canvas developers. And the class that I want is border. That's one class. And then the other class is border.trbl. And so that's saying that I want to border on the top, the right, the bottom, and the left. And I'm also defining that I want the border to be round. And I'm referring to the corners. I could have this just be a square with uh, pointy corners, and that's just fine. I wanted to explore some round borders. And so it's shaped kind of like a rectangle, but the corners are rounded. So that's, that's the approach that I was going with. So now I'm styling it. The styling is the CSS looking at what are the different color schemes and what are the different properties of this div. So my properties are, I have a background color and you can see the code for that color and that gives it the light purple tint to it. It's almost like a shade of periwinkle. And so that's the background color. And my next line of text, I have some padding. So padding 10 pixels, that means I have the word headings and I want there to be 10 pixels above headings to the border and 10 pixels below. And so I'm just putting a little bit of space so that the div isn't right up against the text. In this case, I did a text align center and so headings is right in the middle as opposed to the left. I could also put it to the right if I wanted. And then I have a color and the color is referring to the text that I have in the div and the text is kind of a darker purple. So it's almost like a Palatine or a Byzantium. And finally, I defined the font size. You can define the font size as large, x-large, xx-large. I'm going with a large one. And next I put, what do I want to have inside my header? In this case, I want it to be called headings, and I put some bold tags to it. Finally, I close up the div, and now I have a heading. I can copy this, and I can paste it to other places on my page, or even other pages, and just replace the words within there. So replace headings with whatever you want in there. Now let's hop over to the page edit view, and we're going to take a peek behind the scenes at how I did these other section separators. Okay, I'm just going to hit return a few times so I can isolate this line. This is the very first div at the top of the page, and you can see that I start with div, and then I have the class, the same classes as the other one that we looked at. So border, and then I want a border at the top, right, bottom, left. I want the corners to be rounded. And then I have my styling. My color is a little bit different. I chose some different colors. I chose to put some padding on the left side instead of padding up, down, left, right. I'm just having it padding on the left, 25 pixels. 
and then the text align, you can leave that off or you can specify that, yes, I want it left. By default, it'll be left. And then color, I just have white. So this color code is the color code for white. And then the font size, instead of 2x large, I just put x dash large. And then I did bold the text that I have in the section there. And so I called it first section. And you can see my other div down here. It's the same exact code, except for I just put second section right there. Let's play around a little bit with the code just so we can explore. So I have my div here, the class. I'm going to keep border. I'm going to keep a border on the top right, bottom left. But let's go ahead and take off this border round and see what change that does. As well, let's go ahead and change the uh, background color to something different. And so I'm going to change the, the hex code there. The padding, it's at 25 pixels. Let's change that to something maybe like 50 pixels. We'll make it twice the padding. And then the text, maybe make it large instead of extra large. And let's see what kind of change that brings us. So here you go. You can see the difference between section one and section two. So I took off the rounded borders and now it's just a flat rectangle, which is fine. I think that also looks good. The font size is a little bit smaller. We changed it from extra large to just large and we increased the padding on the left. Now I could put padding on the top and the bottom too, maybe even 10 pixels or five pixels, just so that the div isn't right up against the text there. And we also changed the color of the div. So these are some options for page separations and you can play around with these stylings, maybe explore some other ones and see if there's an effect, a look and a feel that you want to introduce to your class. The other thing I want to introduce to you is the concept of the horizontal rule. So this is also a good way to break up the content in your course without having a formal section header. So in the HTML code, if you just put this code right here, the brackets with HR for horizontal rule, it'll create a thin white line that extends to the length of your page. What a lot of people don't realize is that you can stylize these horizontal rules, these HR tags. And so I have some examples here. I'm not going to go into depth, but you can explore my code, copy my code into your class and play around with some of these settings. So right here we have an HR and then I added some style. This is the style right here. And the style is I want a border none and I want a width of 75%. So you can see it doesn't go 100%. It just goes 75%. If I jump to the end here, I have this that says margin auto and that means the space on the left is the same as the space on the right all of that dead space which is essentially saying the same thing as why don't you put this right in the center so that's what i'm doing i'm saying i want this 75 percent wide and i want it right in the center and then i have a color so this light blue color right here and then i chose a height of five pixels so as opposed if i had none of this styling this line would just look like a single pixel gray line that expands to the length of the screen. So here's another HR where I only want it to go 50%. And so you can see the length of my page and you can see that this line only goes 50%. And if I were to reduce the size of my page here, you know, let's bump this over here and scroll down, then you can see that it only takes up 50% of the page. Even when the page moves, as the page moves, then that line fills in the space of that page. So here's another line that I have. I chose style and I put a height of 0.5 EM and a border of two pixels. So this is one pixel and this border that I have around the HR is two pixels, two pixels high and the HR itself is 0.5 M. If I were to do one M, that would be twice as big. And then I chose solid and kind of a gray color for that border. So the border is two pixels it's solid as opposed to dashed or decorative, and that border is also a grayish color. There's another horizontal rule. I'm determining that I want the color and the background color both to be the color red, and I want this to be four pixels high. I want it to go 80% of the length of the page, and I want to put a border around it, just like I did with this other one, except for this time I want the border to be one pixel, and I, again, want it to be solid, and I want it to be kind of a bluish color. So let me try and go in and zoom in on this page, and I'll try and find that horizontal rule. Okay, we are zoomed way into 400%, and now you can see this HR here. This, it's red, 
It's four pixels tall and it has a border that's one pixel and the border is solid. It's kind of a, I think that's a grayish. I said blue. I think that's more of a grayish border right there. So now let's jump back out. I'm going to reset the page, jump in a little bit. I'm not going to go into the details here, but feel free to look at my code. I have a lot of different HR elements right here. Some are dashed, some are striped, some are various different settings. And so I was just tinkering around with what kind of settings are available, different border thicknesses, different border types and colors. So grab this code if you like one of these styles for your HR, then grab it and tinker around, try and break it, try and figure out how it works. And just know that you don't have to settle for the standard HR. You can dress it up however you like. And all of these tips are merely aesthetic. All of these section separators and the HR and being able to stylize the HR. But I think it adds a little bit of flair, a little bit of aesthetic boost to your class. And I think that that goes a long way with the students, that they'll appreciate the time and the effort for you to really brand yourself and the content in your course. So as always, if you like this tip, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and also visit our blog where I'm going to have a write-up where I discuss everything that I talked about in this video and in other videos that I create. You also have access to this Canvas course that I'm showing you where you can grab the code and you can grab code for other videos that I've made and feel free to follow us on social media. I appreciate every one of my subscribers and I hope that you continue to join me on this journey as we explore Canvas. Happy teaching and learning.